Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the Urban Decay Brow Blade Waterproof Pencil and Ink Stain. This is a double-ended ink stain and waterproof brow pencil that gives eyebrows the definition and precision of microblading without the commitment. So as I've gotten older, I definitely have noticed some brow hairs have gone missing and they just never came back, <laughs> never. So yeah. Yeah, I've got some, you know, some spaces in there that just is blank. They don't have hair. So I definitely fill them in with an eyebrow pencil. I try to get like the smallest pencil possible to get the lifelike hairs, but I can never really get that fine as far as mimicking a hair with a pencil. So as soon as I saw this product, I knew that I had to get it because, oh my God, I need some help. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the pencil side. I decided to get the color Taupe Trap just because I know it's a universal color and I've never used Urban Decay brow products at all. So I just don't know how their whole colors work, like if it's too warm or too cool or anything like that. So I got taupe and I have made that mistake before where I got something that was way too warm, but I spent money on it and I'm that type that just has to use up every little drop of product because I spent money on it. So I decided to go on the safe side. So of course, because this is a double-ended pencil tool, it doesn't come with a spoolie, which is totally fine. I mean, if it wasn't double-ended and it didn't have a spoolie, I'd be like, what the heck? But it is a double-ended product, so I'm totally fine with the fact that it doesn't have a spoolie. I have my own spoolie, so I have like a million of these. I don't really care. So I've learned that getting a brand new eyebrow pencil can be pretty dry and pretty hard to use at first application. So I do have to warm it up just a bit just to make sure that I actually get the product on my eyebrow. And this is super tiny and it's giving me some really thin strokes. So already I'm pretty pleased with that. So I do want to do both sides of the product on one eyebrow first. So that way I can kind of compare like what's going on. And then I'll do the other one off camera. So you guys aren't like seeing me do double things. So, and it'll be a much shorter video. So let's get started with the pencil. I am going to brush my brow hairs down. I know that I don't do my brows like everyone else because I don't like that painted on look. I just, I like the very natural look. I don't know how other people start with their brows, but I definitely start brushing my eyebrows down. And then I start on the top and I kind of start in the middle and just start like lining and filling them in lightly. So here we go. <laughs> definitely is giving me very fine strokes, which I like, but now I feel like it's gonna take way too long to actually fill in my eyebrow. I do feel like this taupe is actually a little warm. I have used taupe uh, color brow pencils before and it wasn't this warm. It was more like on the cooler tone, so which made it okay. I, I've never really liked warm colored brow pencils, so it's a little weird. So I really like how I have control over just how pigmented I can get with this brow pencil. The harder I press, the darker it looks, the lighter I press, the lighter it looks. So it doesn't look like it's like a huge blob in the spot where I don't have much hair. I have had that with some pencils before, like the much bigger ones. So like whenever I come to the beginning part of my brow, it just looks way off and it, it just, it doesn't have that gradient effect like it should. So I really like this. I hope that made sense. Now I'm just gonna brush up. I wanna make sure that I am blending that color into my brows. I'm just going to fill in some of the gaps that I'm seeing. All right, I really do like this. I really like it. Moving on to the ink stain. I have never used anything like this before, so I am kind of nervous. I'm gonna just kind of swatch it on my hand just to see, just to kind of get a feel for what it is I am going to do. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so I love that it's not super pigmented. I'm not gonna lie, I was really scared that it was gonna be really dark and you could, were gonna be able to see all of these strokes that are not real <laughs> compared to my actual hairs. And it's of course very, very thin so that that way I'm not doing chunky hairs. So it says to flick. So just press it down and flick. Right now, I'm just gonna focus on the areas that I don't really have a lot of hair. I'm not gonna take this all over the brow. I'm just gonna put it in those areas and then we'll go from there.
Okay, so this actually is giving real life hair strokes. So it's giving my brow that definition that I need it to have because I like to have my brows natural. I don't like to have them carved out or anything like that. So whenever I am using normal brow products, I'm trying to create those hair like strokes, but really what it ends up looking like is just a shadow. So it's a shadow in an area with no hair. And this actually looks like there's hair there. I really like it. And you guys probably can't even see where like the areas that I'm talking about, like where I'm missing some hair. So like in this eyebrow right here, I do have some hair missing. I'm super self-conscious about that area. And so I'm always like really trying to fill that in and make it look as seamless and natural as possible. And I think that I can really create that with this eyebrow pencil. And I do not mind the taupe color for the ink stain, like it's perfect. So now I'll be right back with the other eyebrow. So I'm back with my finished brows and I'm just telling you, oh my God, I am so happy that I found this product because like this is what I was missing in my makeup routine. I filled in that bald area like perfectly. It has never looked this good before. Like my brows have never looked this good. And no, this isn't sponsored or anything. This wasn't given to me. Although Urban Decay, if you're watching. Anyway, I freaking love this. And oh my God, I just, I'm so amazed at how my brows look. And if you have the same question that I did about the ink stain, if you mess up your brows, you are definitely able to fix it with a spoolie. You just have to act fast because it's waterproof. So it is gonna stain, like in the name, ink stain. So let me know down in the comments below. Do you guys like my eyebrows? Do you like this product? Is this something that you are gonna be adding to your makeup routine? Let me know. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and thank you guys so much for subscribing. Or if you haven't, I don't know, subscribe. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Bye.